Okay, welcome to lesson 7.2, writing two-step inequalities. Learned about inequalities, now we're going to be writing two-step inequalities. How do you solve a two-step inequality? Well, we're going to start with our algebra tiles, and we're going to model this, 2k. So 2k, each of these is a k, plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is greater than or equal to, yeah, greater than or equal to uh, negative 3. So negative 3. How can you model the left side of the inequality? Two positive variable tiles. Okay, done. And five positive one variable tiles. Done. And the right side is three negative one tiles. All right. How does your model differ from one? You could draw, you would draw a model for 2k plus 5 equals negative 3. So how would it be different? Well, the tiles would be the same, but the line now represents an inequality instead of an equal sign. So I guess we'll we'll call this an inequality right there. Uh, I guess when they have a box, they mean, okay, inequality. I didn't have to write that there. Okay, so yeah, that would be an equal sign instead of an inequality sign. How might you need to change the inequality sign when you solve an inequality using algebra tiles? If you multiply or divide by both sides of the inequality by a negative number, you will change the direction of the inequality sign. And we learned that in the last lesson, 7.1. That was a big part of that. Okay, writing two-step inequalities. So you can write two-step inequalities to represent real-world problems by translating the words of the problems into numbers, variables, and operations. In our example, a mountain climbing team is camped at an altitude 18, of 18,460 feet on Mount Everest. The team wants to reach 29,029 feet, the 29,029-foot 29, summit within six days. Write an inequality to find the average number of feet per day the team must climb to accomplish its objective. So we need to identify what you're trying to find. This is going to be our variable in the inequality. D is going to represent the average altitude the team must gain each day. And so we're going to identify the important information where we're going to start at 18,460 feet. Our target is 29,029 feet. That's all taken from this paragraph here. And uh, the number of days, uh, the number of days times the altitude gained to reach the target is six times D. So use the words in the problem to write our inequality. Our starting alt altitude was our 18,000, our 18,460 feet, plus the number of days times the altitude gained for each of those days. That has to be greater than, or it could be equal to, because they want to reach the target. So it could be equal to, to reach the target, or if they go over that, they still reach the target of 29,029 feet, that target altitude. So when we put this all together and we sh uh, shrink it, it becomes this. And there you go. And all we're doing is we're writing the inequalities. We're not solving them at this point. Here, the 45 members of the Glee Club, a singing club, uh, are trying to raise $6,000 so they can compete in the state championship. They already have $1,240. Write an inequality you can write. Uh, what inequality can you write to find the amount of each member that, that each member must raise on average to meet the goal? Okay, you got to get $6,000. That is our target. We start with this and we have to add. 45 for each member. So there are 45 members. Uh, how much? This is the amount, A probably for amount, for each of those members. And all this has to be greater than 6,000 to meet that target. Or it could be 6,000 also. So that's why we write the little line there for equal to. On the next one, Ella has $40 to spend at the state fair. Admission is $6 and each ride costs $3. Write an inequality to find the greatest number of rides she can go on. Okay, we have our $40 here. Whatever, this side is what she spends. So that has to be less than, or it could be equal to, how much money she has. Um, so $6, so that's $6, and then plus $3 for each ride. So there you go. Three. To, that, there tells you your rate right there. And there's our inequality. Okay, now we're going to go the other way. 
we're going to start with the inequality in this example, and then we're going to try to write word pro inequality uh, word problems that match the inequality that we see. So, analyze each part and what it means. X is the in this right here. Looking at two x plus twenty is less than or equal to fifty. X is the solution. Now that's what we're looking for. Two x means that for a given in the problem, the quantity you're looking for, you have to multiply it by 2. Plus 20 means you got to add that to 2x. And we're just breaking all this down here. And then the less than or equal to 50 means that after multiplying the solution by 2 and adding 20, it has to be no greater than 50. So we'll think of situations where we want to uh, multiply by two. So you run X miles per day for two days. So two X is the total distance run. Or you buy two items, each costing X dollars. So two is the total cost. These are situations just breaking down that two X right there, thinking of that piece by piece. So we build on that and uh, we come up with something like this. Thomas has to run 20, Thomas has run 20 miles so far this week. I'm going to zoom in a bit. If he intends to run 50 miles or less, how many miles on average should he run on each of the two days remaining in the week? So this is the case for 2x uh, plus 20 is less than or equal to 50. He wants to run 50 miles or less, so that's our target. And this has to be what he runs is 50 miles or less. He's already run 20. So there's two days remaining, how much each day? Manny buys two work shirts that are each the same price. So there's the 2x. After using a $20 gift card, so we're again, it's another situation for this inequality here, he can spend no more than $50. So what he spends, what he spends has to be less than or it could be equal to his $50. What is the maximum amount he can spend on each shirt? So this matches this. Okay, here are two. We have a uh, real, here are my real world problems for each inequality. Hank needs, needs more than $30 to buy a video game. He already has 10, so he needs more. So what he needs is more or greater than $30. He already has 10, so there's the 10. And he gets $3 each time he cleans the dishes after dinner. How many times does he need to clean the dishes to earn enough to buy the game? This situation is modeled by, is, a, uh, is covered by that inequality. In this one, Henry buys five shirts. Okay, so he buys those five shirts. After using a $50 gift card, ooh, it sounds so much like this right here. Hmm. Um, after using a $50 gift card, he can spend no more than a hundred bucks. What is the max amount he can spend on each shirt? And there you go. That is covered by this, this inequality right here. And I believe that's all you got to know for this lesson. So there you go.